Hi, I'm uh, Sanjana Koshi, um, the medical director of the Antimicrobial Stewardship Program at Mount Sinai Downtown and Mount Sinai Brooklyn. Um, I'm also an assistant professor uh, in the Department of Medicine, Division of Infectious Diseases at uh, the Icahn School of Medicine of Mount Sinai. So this is a type of COVID-19 uh, treatment which is um, under an emergency use authorization by the FDA. Uh, monoclonal antibody therapy is typically utilized to prevent severe disease, hospitalization, and death among certain high-risk individuals with COVID-19. These are actually lab-produced proteins which resemble antibodies that we make in our body against COVID-19. Um, they help to augment our immune response, especially very early on in the disease, before our immune system can or has the capacity to mount its own response. So monoclonal antibody treatments can be considered for anyone who is over 12 years of age and weighing over 88 pounds and who are at high risk for disease progression. Some examples of populations considered to be high risk for disease progression include um, people, uh, patients who are 65 years of age or older, uh, people with uh, certain chronic medical conditions like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and uh, chronic lung conditions, uh, patients who are immunocompromised or who are on immunosuppressive therapies, patients who are pregnant and who are considered to be overweight. There is a more um, exhaustive list of high-risk conditions which, um, are, which is available on the CDC site or uh, in the Mount Sinai Health System COVID-19 resources under um, facts and resources. Um, I want to emphasize that this therapy is not for individuals who require supplemental oxygen or who are um, hospitalized with COVID-19. Patients with, uh, for whom this therapy can, may benefit can be divided into two groups. The first group of individuals include patients who have COVID-19 and are symptomatic with mild to moderate disease. The second group includes post-exposure prophylaxis. This refers to patients who might not yet have COVID-19 and might be exposed to somebody who has COVID-19, either through a household contact or in an institutional setting. A significant exposure is defined by the CDC as being in contact with an infected individual within six feet of an in infected individual for at least 15 minutes over a 24 hour period. In this category of post-exposure prophylaxis, this therapy will benefit patients who are not fully vaccinated and also patients who are fully vaccinated, but might have reasons for an inadequate immune response, um, especially if they are immunosuppressed or um, if uh, they're on uh, immunosuppressive medications. So this therapy is uh, most effective when um, given early and as early as possible in the course of um, in your infection. Um, preferably within about four to five days from symptom onset and up to um, 10 days from symptom onset. Um, you can uh, usually reach out to your medical provider. Um, at the Mount Sinai Health System, uh, patients are encouraged to either self-refer or reach out through their medical provider. And um, we have two ways you can reach us. The first is through an email, which is COVID therapeutic referrals at mountsinai.org, or you can uh, call 212-824-8390. Um, and uh, medical staff will do an initial screening. And if you're found to be eligible, we'll uh, refer you to one of our New York City 
locations. Um, this is given as an intravenous infusion. Uh, the usual visit takes about two to three hours. Um, there is um, an initial assessment followed by the infusion and uh, followed by an hour of observation after the infusion. Side effects can sometimes occur, and that is why we keep you under observation for about an hour after the infusion. Um, some of the more common side effects could be allergic or infusion related. Some of the common infusion related uh, reactions which can occur up to 24 hours after getting the inf infusion include um, um, fevers, chills, headache, dizziness, um, nausea, vomiting, um, itching at the site of the, uh, of the, in, of the infusion. So um, in clinical trials, monoclonal antibody therapy, when used as treatment for COVID-19, very early on from symptom onset, has shown to reduce hospitalizations and death by at least 70%. When used as post-exposure prophylaxis, it prevents new infections by about 80%. So um, I want to emphasize and that this antibody treatment is not a substitute for COVID-19 vaccinations. We continue to believe that COVID-19 vaccinations is key in the control of this pandemic. 